Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Griss, and I'm on Conan Exiles right now. And I'm going to do explosive tests on the different tier buildings to see what it takes to blow them up. Should be fun. Here we go. Something I have not been able to find myself online, so I figured I would make a video. I found a couple of videos that were somewhat informative, uh, but not what I was looking for, so I decided to make my own. So I'm on my single player in God mode, obviously. Cheating like crazy just because I want to do the experiments. But anyway, here we go. Uh, I built a 4x, or sorry, a 2x2 two two of each building with a door of each kind and ceiling. Inside each building I have four explosive jars. I chose to go with four at first because, well, after you get past sandstone, it pretty much takes at least four. So, anyway, here we go. Sandstone first. And... Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Okay, uh, apparently I had them a little too close. Uh, yeah, it didn't account for splash damage. <laughs> and take two. Let's see if we can do this one a little bit better. I'm going to do one building at a time. Hopefully, no problems <laughs> this time. Uh, and we'll just see how it goes from there. But anyway, on with the madness. Uh, each building I am going to build is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be four foundations surrounded by walls, minus one obviously because i got to shoot the barrel, uh, with a door uh, right there. Um, I'm putting four barrels in the middle of each one because, well, quite frankly, if you don't bring at least four barrels with you to... If you blow something up, you're not doing it right. Because <laughs> uh, other than this here sandstone, just about everything is going to take at least four barrels before it does anything really substantial. So, here we go. I expect this to pretty much annihilate this building. So, as I said, annihilated. And moving on to the next one. I'm not going to bore you with the building. I will just cut to that. And I will see you in, uh, well, a second, but it'll be a couple minutes for me. All right. Here we are with the stone brick building set. Again, four explosive jars in the middle. Four foundations, four ceilings, surrounded by walls, minus one, and a door. Four barrels. Let's see what it does to stone brick. Fairly devastating. Not completely annihilated, but pretty much destroyed. So, moving on to the next tier. I'll be back in a second. Alright, and here is insulated wood. I suspect it will be the same as stone brick, given the fact that they are about the same hit points. Oh, wait, I ain't got no ammo. Hold on. Insulated wood, and I suspect it'll be the same as stone brick, considering they're basically the same tier. As I suspected, it's 
are virtually identical to the damaged stone brick. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, and here is reinforced stone. Uh, this one, I suspect, will be a little bit more resilient to these four. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. Alright, let's let it cook. The fire does do damage as it burns. So it's good to let it cook before you put any more explosives in there if you need to. But that was four explosives. And it looks like most is relatively undamaged. Uh, yeah. Oh, whoops. I don't know why I put that there. Anywho, that's not part of the test. Alright, as we can see, four of them was not enough to kill a reinforced stone structure. Not even the door. Now, I could go and look at the damage and do the math and blah, 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 but I'm not gonna. I like simple stuff. So, we did four. Here's five. Let's see what happens. Oops. <laughs> Alright, with the fifth one, what happened? Nothing. Okay. How about six? As soon as it stops burning. Because like I said, the burning does do damage. And it is important to note that I am in God mode. So if you were this close to an explosion, you would die. Because the explosive radius is like 10 foundations altogether. So yeah, you, you don't want to be this close, you'll die. So this is number six. Number six is still no damage. Well, I'm sure it's damaged, it's just not destroyed. And that's really all that matters when you're dealing with this kind of stuff. I just thought I heard something. Something go? No, oh, not yet. Okay. Now, I don't know if it's double damage or whatever, but I would assume that within the next two here, so this is seven. That something's gonna break. Oh! Number seven kills a ceiling tile. So, so far we're at seven and we've managed to destroy a ceiling tile, so that's probably uh, a viable way to get into a place uh, through the ceiling tile. Either way, we're going to continue to see how much it takes. So my guess is this one is going to take care of most everything else. There we go. So, eight for reinforced stone. And that is to do a considerable damage to a large, well, a, a small structure, I guess. Not a large structure. But you get the idea. So, anyway, let's move on to the next one. I shall return momentarily. Alright, this is black ice. Now, I put four in there right away. I don't suspect that's going to do anything. <laughs> fire burns up, and then we'll put four more in there, because I know it's going to take at least eight. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to take at least eight, because the last one took eight, and this is a tier higher, so I'm assuming it's going to take at least eight, if not more. Alright, let's put some more in there. 
and it doesn't really matter how you place them in there because like I said the blast radius is like 10 foundations so I think we're good uh, oh wait that's right I want to put eight in there wait no I don't want to put it in there. I want to go for it because this will be eight. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Anyway, uh, here will be eight all together. Interesting. Interesting. I did not expect that result. Huh. Alright. So that was eight. Huh. Very interesting. So basically reinforced stone. And black ice are very similar, resistant to explosives. So I put eight in there, and I put eight in here, and it destroyed them both. So I don't know if it multiplies when you use more than one explosive. If it's more powerful that way, maybe I don't know. But uh, there's only one really way to test that, and that would be to go one by one. Probably should have done that with this, but I honestly did not expect it to blow up on with eight. I thought for sure it would last through eight. But I was wrong, so this is why we test. Let's try a little experiment then, shall we? Alright, this is going to test my theory of how you place them matters. Because I think the only difference between what I did with the reinforced stone and the black ice was I had the ones spread apart a little bit more in the re, the re, uh, blah, sorry the black ice in the last one that I did. So here's four fresh new foundations and everything. Here's four explosive jars, black ice. We'll let it burn out, and then I'm gonna go one by one this time, just like I did with the last one, and then I think it'll last longer. But That'll also prove a very interesting point, and it matters how you place them and where you place them. So, yeah. That was four jars. And as expected, not really a whole lot of anything for damage wise. So, we're gonna let the fire burn out here. There we go. Put that smack dab in the middle. Alright, that was number five. Seven. 
Alright, here's number seven. Now, if this truly is just like reinforced stone, the ceiling tile should break here. Because this is exactly what I did with the other one. Ah, the door broke. Okay, so seven explosives, relatively close, takes out a black ice door. Good to know. Now, Okay, so this proves that the black ice tier and the reinforced stone tier are relatively the same when it comes to explosive resistance. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to exact damage numbers here because I'm not a mathematician and I don't want to do that. I'm just going on realistic damage here. Because, I mean, when you're in a, in a game, you're not going to sit there and try and calculate out all the exact proportions and whatnot. You're just going to grab a bunch and go over there and try and blow them up. So this gives you an idea of what you'll need to destroy a black ice base. But, let's do another test with black ice. Let's see if we put all eight in there at once. If that completely annihilates it. Or if it does exactly the same amount of damage. Alright, so there's eight explosives in there, identical building as the last time, so we'll see if eight all at once will do the same amount of damage as eight over time, and one by one, whatever. It does not look like it did the same amount of damage. Oh, oh there it goes. Huh. Interesting. I mean, it's still effective. But it did not do the same amount of damage. Now let's see if we add just one more explosive to the mix. As I suspected, it took care of pretty much everything else. Now, we're going to test outside explosion. Since, generally speaking, you're not going to be placing bombs inside your enemy building when you blow them up. But this first part was just to see how it worked as far as damage wise, uh, or not damage, but destruction wise on black ice. 
So, let's reset and I will be back. Okay, and here we are again. Here is a, another 2x2 two two black ice building, only this time instead of leaving one side open so I could shoot the barrels, I closed it off because we're going to say like this is somebody's base we're coming up onto and we're going to try and blow open. Now, most people, I don't know, most people would think, okay, the door is probably the weakest point. So let's go put some there. Now, knowing what we know now, we know that it's going to take at least four to get through that. So let's go ahead and put two here first. I'm going to put it on either side of the door jam, or door frame, I mean. Not, well, yeah, anyway, just like this. And we're going to find out if two is enough to take out a door. Like it is still there. But we will see in a moment. Yeah, it does appear to be still there. So that was two. Two more and about the same spot as the other one. Now, I don't suspect that this will blow open the door yet, but I was wrong before. Let's see what happens. Okay, looks like everything is still relatively intact. four. This will be five. And since we're only doing one, I'm going to put it dead center in the middle. Oh, excuse my uh, snorting there. I'm kind of dealing with cold right now. That was five. Oh, I think that was enough to get the door open. Yep. That was enough to get the door open. So five explosive jars breaks open a black ice door. Good to know. Okay, now we are going to see if we stack five right in front of this door, as close as we can to it, is that going to be enough to just blow the door open in one shot? Because, I mean, that's generally speaking what most people are going to want to do. They want to blow it open in one shot and get in as quick as possible. So, there's five stacked as close to the door as we can get them. Now, keep in mind, this is a very basic situation. They might have steps and all sorts of hoopla in front of the door so it might not be just this easy to stack them in front of the door but this is just proof of concept here all right that was five directly in front of the door as close as we could put them three of them right up against it the other two right in front of those and as soon as the uh, fire dies down we'll be able to see what kind of damage we're working with but initial look I think it's gone so might be definitive five will take care of the door. Nope. Five will not take care of a door in that situation. So it does matter how you place them. Good to know. I suspect one more will take care of this door though. Oh, I was wrong. Very interesting. 
Alright. How you place explosives. So, I'm gonna reset here and come back and I'm gonna build a base that's a little bit more realistic. Just to give you an idea of how somebody might attack a real base. Uh, we're gonna make it out of black ice since that's the highest here and that's what people are gonna be going for. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, so I've built a black ice base, uh, it's nothing special, it looks like a castle, it's a little tiny, anyway, but the important part is how it is constructed, it is stacked foundations on the bottom up to here, about, so on the outside is fence foundations, so it's fence foundation, then foundation, all right, and it's solid foundation all the way through the bottom. So, the actual base is up here inside these two high walls. I will demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So you walk in this base, and like I said, this is not a base I would use because it's awful tiny, but I mean, it could work, I guess. But anyway, this is, found it's two foundations high and covered with uh, fence foundations on the outside. A little added uh, armor, if you will. Um, the stairs uh, make it to where you cannot stack stuff directly in front of the door, uh, or at least it's very difficult to. So this is what I was talking about before when I was saying you could just stack the five in front of the door and blow it open. Well, in this situation, you won't be able to do that. So you have to come up with another possible alternative. Now let's say you farmed and grinded and all that good stuff and you got yourself a whole lot of explosives. And you come and see this little tiny black ice base and you're like, I got enough explosives, I can take out that foundation and everything will fall down. All I got to do is line it with explosives, shoot one shot and it all comes down. Well, we're about to see if that's actually true. So I'm going to line this entire base with explosives on the outside around the foundations and then I'm going to set them off and see what happens. Alright, here we are. Now, like I said before, let's say that you've been farming and you got all the explosives in the world to deal with and you see this base and you're like, man, it's so small, he must be a solo guy, he's probably got a bunch of stuff in there that I want. Okay. So you're like, I'm just going to surround this whole base with explosives, blow it up. Well, here's 32 explosives, one for every foundation around. So, like, these ones on the corners, they technically have, let me see here, technically two on this corner. Yeah, two on the corners. So, one for every foundation except for the corners have two. So, one for every space. I could have fit more in there. I could have went, you know, right next to each other all the way around, but... I didn't want to do that, I guess. Oh, uh, if this turns out to flop or something like that, I might try it. But we're going to see what happens. I honestly don't know what will happen here. Oh, and I put this one a little higher on the steps because this is as high as you can go on the steps. So that gives you an idea how far away from you are the door. It also gives you a pretty good tip on how to build your base. You want to elevate it. That way they can't just blow open the door with the explosives. All right, let's get to it. <coughs> well, that should have, excuse me, that should have gotten every one of them. Did. Yep. Okay, every one of them went off. I remember I said that was 32 of them. Okay, and it does not appear to have done 
a whole heck of a lot of damage. I mean, everything's on fire, and it looks very cool, but as you can see, everything is still there. Doesn't look like it's even been touched. Of course, they don't really show damage, so that's whatever. But, so, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Since I've already surrounded it once and it didn't really do anything, that was 32 explosives. Now in a real life situation here, well not real life, but in game situation, you would have just wasted 32 explosives. For no really good purpose. Now we're going to see what happens when we do, oh no, well I don't know. Should I just go for like two foundations and just line it with a bunch of them? See if I can punch a hole in it that way? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, I ain't going to cut for this one. I'm just going to go right up to it and do it. Alright. I'm going to go bam. 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 I am keeping in mind that these ones have already been damaged by the other explosives. So I'm going to say that there was already five. And there's probably splash damage. So this is not an exact number of things, but this gives you an idea of what you need to explode black ice foundations reinforced with fence foundations. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Now let's wait till the fire clears and see what the actual damage was. Because it doesn't look like the foundations are dead. It does, however, look like the walls are. So. As soon as the fire goes away. Aha, I was right. As you can see, that did blow up the wall, but it did not blow up the foundation. Something to keep in mind. This is the splash damage that everybody's talking about. So, we're going to say that was probably cumulative about 15 explosives to get to this point because I'm trying to guesstimate the splash damage from all of them around the building. Uh, obviously there's no way to definitively tell them without building a new base just like this and blowing it up. That's going to take too long and I don't want to do it. So what I'm going to do, go over here to this back part uh, and blow this up see what that takes. Now, if the splash damage works the way I think it does, these should have taken some uber damage from the last one as well. I'd be willing to bet that these foundations probably go as well as the walls did do. But we'll see. Oops. <coughs> Alright, wait for the smoke to clear. the foundations are still there. I am seeing what I think I'm seeing. <sighs> Which doesn't surprise me. That's a lot of hit points to punch through. Wow. Yeah, okay. Oh, it did kill the foundation, but it left the fence foundation. Interesting. Oh, and it did the same thing over here. Okay. So that is an uh, interesting development. So, you can kill foundations behind. Okay, good to know. Now, let's 
put my last four right here in front of this one. Since this is just a fence foundation now instead of a uh, regular foundation behind it. And hopefully this will be enough to kill that. I see pieces. <laughs> Alright, that was enough to kill the other fence foundation as well. Alright, so if you're looking to punch a hole in somebody's base, I think the best way you can do it is to focus on one area and, and punch your way in. I don't think there'll be a whole lot of foundation wipes in this game. But anyway, as you can see, now you're in. And if they had anything right here, the bags would be right there. You could take them right away. Just give you an idea of what you need to do there. Okay. Yeah, you didn't think I was going to let you go without seeing the big explosion now, did you? Now, I uh, took the liberty of rebuilding this base with a big gate in the front. Because, well, big gates are cool. <laughs> I don't know. Plus, I wanted to see if it would blow up, too. But I have 200 explosive jars within this four-story, two-foundation, reinforced, or not reinforced, but uh, blah, 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 uh, fence foundation in front on the bottom, too. You know, just like the last one, only a little bit taller. But, uh, yeah, this is 200... 200 maximum carry amount of explosive jars. I'm not sure what's going to happen. To be completely honest with you, I don't know. I'm hoping it doesn't uh, crash my computer or anything like that, but uh, we're about to find out. I would love it if I shot this and it just disappeared in a big ball of flame. That's what I'm going for, but we'll see. In three, two, one. <laughs> Looks like I got my wish. <laughs> And that's what it takes to make a black ice base disappear. Quite amazing. Oh, there is still some left. Wow. A 200 oil jar explosion and there's some fence foundations left. <laughs> That's funny. All right, well, that is that. Have a good one.